to my channel this is seema here uh, first off i would like to apologize to all of you that i could not post the video this video last week it was shot then but my system crashed and i couldn't post the video so without uh, i apologies for that and uh, so this is a video that is one week late and here i'm going to be using two pieces of cardboard uh, i'm using one piece of mdf uh, but you can still go ahead and use cardboard also and one kitchen roll here i'm using a party popper uh, shell uh, to act as the kitchen roll but of course you can use the kitchen roll you want the uh, kitchen roll or the foil uh, inside part so you want it a little broad so that it will be stable because you are going to be balancing something like a candle on top of it so yes we are making a candle stand and it's super simple and super quick to do all i'm doing is i'm just i've measured it properly and then i'm cutting with a paper cutter next i'll be using hot glue to attach this piece to the center of the base mdf a uh, circle that i've taken here yeah, it was available to me so i have taken a mdf circle i just otherwise you can use two or three pieces of cardboard and you can add a few stones in the, inside this tube um just that they will or you can stuff it with paper we just want it to be stable and not falling over because you will be keeping a candle on top of it it needs to be really really stable the other two pieces that i are going to stick on top are uh, um, two pieces of cardboard that i have decoupaged with a print out of uh, butterfly and flowers just for decoration sake so i'm just i've just stuck two pieces of cardboard together and then i'm just going to add it to the top next i will be using twine to decorate it and cover the entire piece you can go ahead and paint your kitchen roll in a single color or you can use a paper to cover it here it should, since i'm going to be using um jute twine i just will go ahead and roll it properly and try to cover up as as much of the red as possible so that's a very simple process that you will see right now uh, that i'm going to do and uh, so hello and welcome if you are new to my channel i would love if you would subscribe consider subscribing i post out videos every week i try to post two videos a week but uh, mostly one is definitely there so and mostly these are videos about easy diys that you can do at home to decorate your home or for gifting and uh, that is what i do and i love to read comments so if you have anything that you want to share with me or you would like to say something i'm most excited to hear what you guys have to say about the videos or in general if you have any views to share with me that you would like to discuss i am more than happy to you know um, talk to you guys so just uh, generally chit chatting now just since you can see me it's a very simple process i have just gone ahead and added some twine to the sides of this count board piece that i'm going to attach and then i go ahead and you use the same twine to go all over this piece later i add you yeah this is what i'm trying to do i'm going to go ahead and add this twine to to the entire tube as well as on the base it's a very simple process that i'm doing so in the meantime i'll just keep chatting with you guys or i can just put on the music if you don't like my chatting you let me know if you're uh, been you have been on my channel before you must be noticing that i have a henna on my hands and uh, i'm also wearing bangles actually the day i shot this video was a festival day for me and i had uh, kept fast for my husband um this is a very indian thing that we keep fasts for our husbands uh, once or twice a year and uh, for their well being and prosperity of the whole household so that is the reason you see me wearing all this henna and uh, bangles i am also wearing traditional wear so in case you guys want to see me sometime in my traditional wear you let me leave it in the comments below and i'll be shooting a video though i'm not very comfortable shooting my face but i will shoot it if you guys want to see me so yes <laughs> 
<laughs> that is a difficult one right but um other than that um it's a very simple craft that i you can do with your kids uh if the if you're allowing your kids to, or if you're a kid and you're going to be trying this i would say that you should not be using the hot glue gun because it's really dangerous at times so but you can use a regular pva glue and go ahead and stick it so uh, you know you don't need to use the hot glue or you can use silicone glue which is again not dangerous it's uh, it's not hot at least so so and to find the final decoration that i will be adding to this piece will be a sprig of flowers i made them long long ago and they have just been sitting in my stash i use them every now and then here and there wherever i can find use for them so yes i could not post my video last week because uh, as soon as i had shot my video and i sat down to edit my system crashed and it took me a little while to figure out where i could get it repaired and give it out for repairs and finally i have my system back and i am doing the editing now almost after one week so of shooting this video right so i hope that you will not be too disappointed i'll try to cope up with all the videos now and uh, give try to roll out regular videos as i promise and i would also that comes you know gets me to the point where i would like to know what kind of videos you would like to see on my channel and uh, what you enjoy the most so that would be the best time to you know best way to give you content that you want to actually uh, see and uh, because i work really hard to make these videos and every time that you guys engage with me or talk to me give me a like on my videos it helps me out it and keeps me motivated to make these uh, videos so i would really like to know exactly what you want to learn and what you would like to know from me and if i can help it even if i don't know i will try and find out solutions for those uh, questions that you put up to me and uh, try to figure out together learn and grow share and grow as, as i say I always believe that you know uh, I made this YouTube channel just because everything that I have learned in crafting is through YouTube and other creators in uh, real life as well as online so this is my way to contribute to that whatever I have learned I'm sharing and hopefully somebody is going to learn from these videos that I tried to put up so yes lots of chatting today i guess and i've done quite a bit so let's put on some music and i will see you and as i said if you're new to my channel also guys i would like to let you know that i am on instagram available with the same name home hashtag diy please do follow me there as well i will, will leave the links at the uh you know at the end of the description uh, in the description below please do follow me there and i do show, uh, share a lot of uh, other crafts or other projects that i keep doing on a daily basis on my instagram because it's just simpler to go ahead and share the pictures rather than just shooting the entire process so uh, if you would like to see what all what other than what i have shown here projects that i do on a regular basis please do please do follow me on instagram and uh, send me some message and i'll check you out as well so this is this almost brings us to the end of what we are doing i'm just going to rotate it's a very simple simple, simple process and um, i hope you do like this video and give me a thumbs up write what you want to say share with me your thoughts on you know what you would like to see on my channel and uh, cuz i really do want to you know help out people with this channel and answer some questions if i can and solve 
help you solve your crafting issues or any other household problems as in household related uh, DIYs you want to see home decor uh, I am planning a craft room makeover so if you guys will be interested in me sharing that I would shoot some parts of it not the entire process maybe but at least I will try to share projects that I do along the way in uh, redoing my craft room so if you guys are interested please 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 leave it in the comments below um, it will just keep me uh, help me you know um, keep me motivated to make these videos because that is what is the purpose of these to help you help someone out there who is watching oh i've been speaking so much today too much i guess and not about what I'm what I'm really doing because it's so simple to do I'm just using the hot glue gun going through the process of um, just completing the entire circle I am sorry I did not even realize that I was off camera almost off camera here but um, basically all I'm doing is just you know going round and round making sure that I keep the twine as close as possible to the you know uh, closely knit so that you I don't have because I did not paint the underside I just want it to be as neat as possible that's what I'm doing and I'm this channel is all about doing craft and making your house and your gifts beautiful at a, on a budget so that is the reason I want to have uh, know what kind of you know uh, videos you would like to see I always try to you know stretch my supplies and uh, stretch the buck as far as possible so um, your suggestions will be most welcome and right okay and i have also have an i'll be using a small uh, little stand that i have uh, in my stash to for the placement of the candle now here i've added a tea light but you i, I think you can add a regular candle as well to this uh, piece and it would really look nice on your mantle you can make it in varying sizes if there are so many options you can make it with cds too i mean if you want to see i would share uh, i can share uh, another video where i will show you some examples with cds cds are an outdated thing i'm i'm sure most of you will have and cds will actually be more sturdy as well and you can put heavier candles on it um bigger candles on it and it will still stay you know uh, heavier as in the broader ones because the base will be broader for the cds uh, so this is a very good quick and easy re recycling project plus it is also a nice gift Diwali is around the corner and they'll you can you know plan your gifts accordingly for those of you who do not celebrate celebrate Diwali this the, uh, this is a nice nice gift that you can give for Thanksgiving or Christmas and um, it's very easy to do very simple to do you can share uh, you know make at least three to four of them in an afternoon watching TV or just chilling so I hope you like this project and uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, thank you so much so much so much for watching this video I would look forward to your comments have a wonderful day ahead and a wonderful week I will see you guys very soon bye bye like share and subscribe oh that was my son that was my son saying that he just loves to, you know, come, what do you call, video bomb? Is that the term? Video bomb me? Yeah, I All think the time. So, so um, apart, guys, have a wonderful day ahead and wonderful week. Stay safe, stay healthy. Happy crafting. Until next time. Bye bye. Bye.